welcome back to my channel! Today I'm going to bring you 6 tips on how to stay motivated during Inktober. This week has been the most difficult one for me so far. After my last video, I got really sick of the style I had been doing and I could not imagine doing the same thing for two more weeks. I felt like I had fallen in a sort of Inktober rut. I still managed to draw each day, even if a few times I had to force myself to pick up the pen. I've come up with 6 tips on how I've made it through Inktober so far and I hope these tips can help you in the rest of Inktober as well. My first tip is to change up your style if you're bored. I'd created my illustrations in the same style for two and a half weeks. That was enough. I was worried that not all my drawings would match, but then I thought it's better to have 31 drawings that don't match rather than only having the 20 drawings or 31 drawings which I was not passionate about. If you're making time-lapse videos, change up the style of your videos too. Try new angles or effects to spice it up. So, if you are bored with the style or your prompts, just change them. It's not written in stone what you can or can't do during Inktober. My second tip is to have all your Inktober equipment visible for the whole month. I keep all my gear at my desk where I can see them every day I walk into my studio. If you're doing time lapses of your drawings, have your camera ready to go as well. If you do all this, you don't always need to go through all the prep like finding your equipment or setting up the camera. It has already been done and you can get right to your drawing. My third tip is to write in your calendar when you are planning to draw. If you feel like you don't have time to finish Inktober, take a look at your calendar. You can carve out that time for your drawing. For example, you could get up half an hour earlier in the morning or draw after you come home from work. If you book the time for yourself in your calendar, you can see it there each day and this makes you feel more committed to do the work. My fourth tip is that if you know you will have a busy day tomorrow, do the research for your drawing the evening before. I use reference images a lot and a couple of times this month I have looked for the images the night before and this way I've already done the prep, which can take up to 15 minutes on some days. Making a plan doesn't actually require you to draw, and you can do this when you are a bit tired as well. The fifth tip is to sit down and have a browse of all the drawings you've done so far. Look at how you've improved in such a short time. This can inspire you to keep going since you can actually see that you have improved and that you already have a body of work behind you that you can add to. tip is to think about how your Inktober drawings can help you in the future. Perhaps a sketch you've made can be made into a bigger and more detailed artwork, or maybe you can combine some of the drawings you have created. If you're struggling, treat the day as a sketching exercise for a larger work. Did you find these tips helpful? Do you have any more tips on how to keep up with Inktober? Please leave them in the comments below! Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly art videos.